Hey, Betsy, I cannot Whoa. believe Ooh, it nice. has been 20 years that you have been at WKYC <laughs> rocking it out. I mean, of course, you use the uh, Roker Radar Tower every <laughs> night. I know that. But uh, you are one of the best. I mean, you come in there. Everybody loves the bets. I mean, you are the gold standard when it comes to TV weather. I love you, and I, I did, but you look so great. It can't be 20 years. That is not possible. But uh, Adam, Adam Miller tells me it is. And if Adam Miller says it, everybody it must disbelieves be true. it. But in any event, we love you. Mwah! All the best. Congrats on 20 years, B. Aww. I don't know if words will ever do it justice, but thank you for being you. And thank you for taking a chance on me. If I can simply be half of the woman and half of the meteorologist that you are, I will be oh so happy. Keeping you, keeping great. Love always, Patey. Aww. Aww. That's really cool. It is. And I realized something when I was listening to Al, you can't spell best without bets. <laughs> 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 Just thought I'd throw that in there. Uh -huh. Well, Russ Mitchell has a little joke. He always calls me bestie, so, because it's always transposed in the prompter. So Very <laughs> funny. Here's bestie with the four kids. <laughs> okay, <laughs> works for me. You'll answer to that. <laughs> uh, it really is um, hard to believe, but tomorrow officially marks a very special day for us. 20 years with Betsy here at WKYC. And we know so many of you have watched her grow over those two decades. And for those of us who've been lucky enough to call her coworker and friend, we are so honored to have been a part of it, a small part of that 20 year run. And we wanted to give Betsy the chance to reflect now on this incredible journey in her own words. Clean. Through the evening Great to and go outside. 66 the flooding conditions See across. that band is Kenan Betsy Clay. Weather's my game. And I'm excited. <laughs> that's two decades. That's a long time. I've, I've grown up here as an adult, I guess. I've had a lot of life changes in 20 years, but I've also just loved every minute of it. As for clouds, well, we got some partly cloudy skies out there. The plan was to try and get back home. My family was here. Uh, this is where I grew up, and I, I love this area. Called down to the GM's office. And there's an opening in Cleveland. They want to know if you're interested in it. And I was like, when do I start? Right. We're going to do that again? Just because you, you land that dream job or, you know, you, you finally feel like you're in a place where you can stay for a long time, that doesn't mean you let your foot off the accelerator. I was a very, very tiny fish in a very big tank. And slowly but surely started to feel more and more comfortable and, and grow a little bit. The winds are whipping in downtown Cleveland, and we are literally turning this town pink. So I've helped with a lot of major events that have been in downtown with all-star games, uh, triathlons, uh, you know, you name it, air shows. I've been down to, you know, Cape Canaveral several times following along with the Artemis mission. And behind me is the top of the rocket. Tons of pinch me moments. And we've got a special guest. One of the big ones was getting to do the weather with Al Roker. This was just a couple years ago. And he actually stepped aside and let me do the forecast, which was Bam! like I got done. And I was just like, I, I kind of, I still get emotional about that. It's a big deal. 71 to 61 today's temperature range sitting at home in the afternoon. And it was the news director who said, we're shifting things around. We're going to move you to weeknights. You're not the chief, but we're going to move you to weeknights. I knew I had had an opportunity there that uh, I didn't want to screw up too much. Three days later, I found out I was pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, it, it was one of those moments like I, I was very excited, overwhelmed really, uh, and scared, but people were very sweet about it. Uh, and I still have all of the emails and the cards and the gifts. I do this thing where I work on Christmas Day, so she was born at the end of July, so I had this little, little mush. Uh, so I brought her to work with me, uh, and she came on the air with me, and people, people really responded, and so every year my, my daughter daughter Josie's been doing the weather with me on Christmas and then there was like a big box you know seven years later little Violet appeared we made it a, a little bit of a family family ordeal and now they both help me with the forecast and it's gonna come all the way over here, <laughs> here. <laughs> so being named the first female chief meteorologist in Cleveland was huge I still remember going back to record my radio hits the first day and I got to sign out with Chief Meteorologist Betsy Kling. And when I walked out of the audio booth, I was like, oh my gosh, it's real now. <laughs> I get to say I'm the chief. You know, it was very exciting. And, and then the work began. And, you know, I was in charge of a department now. And I am always 
always wowed by the talent that I see with my teammates. So what do we know so far? You know, I've worked with some, some pretty significant names in television business, specifically here in Cleveland. And then there's Jay Crawford. <laughs> The camaraderie that I just felt immediately with him just grows every single day. I just love sitting next to him and chatting with him. This is my mom, Sue Kling, also known as Big Sue. My parents just cracked me up, um, and I don't want to get emotional, but they really set me up. And in a good way, like not a bad way. I just hope I make them proud. I know I do. They tell me that at least. Betsy's my name and weather's my game. And these girls, they're in my crew. I never saw myself as a role model, quite honestly. I just showed up to work and did my job and, and I had a job to do and that was that. The role model part really became more evident to me when the Girls in STEM series started. And I was like, wow, they, they do watch. They are paying attention. When your job is just simply to be a messenger and suddenly you have a personal connection with people, I think that's a pretty big deal. I'm really grateful that people let me in and people, people turn to me as not only their meteorologist and a news anchor, but they turn to me as their friend and their family member. There's, there's nothing better than that.